This product is really aimed at... Uh, now you've chosen the Valve World 2014 Expo to launch two new Betis products. Could you describe what they are and how they function? Yes, of course. Um, firstly, we're launching what we call the Bedis EHO product, which is an electrohydraulic operator. It's an emergency shutdown actuator, and it's based upon proven technology. Those technologies are Bettis, and that's the mechanical part, Schaefer, which is the hydraulic part, and Bettis Electric, which is based on the EIM actuator, which is the electronics part. This product is really developed and targeted towards the um, remote pipeline applications. Um, it's a zero emission actuator, so that's a, a unique thing for the industry. Um, it's also targeted towards oil movement and storage. In fact, actually anywhere where you only have an electrical power supply to power the actuator. The second actuator we're developing, or we've released now here at this show, is the Model 500. Now this is an electrical actuator. This is again based upon proven technology. It's a smaller platform than previous actuators, so it's well suited to small, linear and quarter turn um, valves. Now the really exciting thing about this product is its diagnostic capability. We've developed and improved an existing technology called Tech2, and that will give us diagnostic capabilities, not just information about the actuator, but information about the valve as well. Now I could see that people were really interested in these new actuators, both Bettis and Emerson staff, as well as your invited guests. Did that surprise you at all? Um, no, not really. Um, these are two products that fill white space within our current portfolio. We know there's a very interesting and very big demand for this kind of technology. Um, so small compact electric actuators um, are being required. Power, electrical power or powered actuators are being demanded and required increasingly in our industry. So no, it wasn't particularly surprising. And finally, uh, forgive the stupid question, but I thought all Betis products were orange. So why is your new 500 model grey? Well, it, David, if you notice, it's actually a mix of grey and orange because we've put an orange hand wheel on there. The origin there um, is because we acquired the EIM business a number of years ago and their product colour was grey. Bettis is obviously orange. So we've tried to retain some of that original identity but also make it look like a, a new Emerson product by introducing some of the orange colour as well.